Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I'm going to share with you how to make a very simple pot scrubber. Now this is for people who don't know how to crochet. I'm going to use the basic stitch in macrame and what you'll need is some jute material because I find this great for scrubbing but also it is compostable. Get 10 pieces of jute string about 70 centimeters each. I'm going out to do it in the garden, but you can do it at home once you have a little pole to put the strings over. Fold them in half and then pop them over your pole. And you should have 10 sets. And that little stitching is best on the front. And to start, you start with the first four strings. The two strings in the middle, they'll always be the middle strings. Pop the left one across the three, the right one over the top, and then under and to the left of the two middle strings. And pull it tight. You might need to use your fingers to hold the strings in place. And now, the same except using the string on the right across the ones on the left over and then under and through the gap to the right side of the two middle strings and pull it really tight I find this important to pull it nice and tight and that is your first four strings done the next four strings the exact same left one over the three pull that one up under it goes and then through that gap there and pull it nice and tight same again the right over the left pull that left one over and under and through that gap there on the right and pull it nice and tight and that's it this is the stitch or the knot we're going to be doing the whole way the next four strings, left first, pull it tight, right first, pull it tight. Next set. And keep going till you get to the end. Now we're on to row two and the only difference is you leave the first two strings alone and you start after that. So four strings. One, two, three, four, and the exact same knot. Start from the left. Pull it tight, and then from your right, and again, and then pull it tight. And I just move it over out of the way for myself. And make sure the four strings are in a row. Sometimes they get tucked underneath. So just bring them out and keep going the exact same till you get to the end. And the only difference with row two is those two little strings at the end. You leave them alone. Now we've done row one, row two and row three is the same as row one the first four strings and the exact same knot all the way to the end. One, two, three, and row four is the same as row two. And keep going all the way down to the very end until you get to row nine. So I'm on the last knot on row nine, which is the last four strings. The really nice thing about jute is that it's a natural material and you can home compost this. Then I'm just bringing it inside, giving every string extra bit of tightness and then pull it off the pole. Lift all those little bits up. They'll just come up easily. 
and then the bottom section cut all the strings off you can actually cut quite close to the edge once you've pulled it really tight they will stay in place and on the other end leave one of the hook free we'll use that just to hang it up open the rest of them and just cut it all off and that's it it's so simple and then as you wash it all the jute seems to expand so it will hold everything on it in place you don't need to worry about that and it's just so simple last for as long until it looks too scraggy and then pop it into the compost so thank you very much for watching i'm really grateful share any photos if you make it over on instagram and i'll chat to you there or in the comments below i have a wonderful week and i'll see you the next time bye